I wanted to share a quick tip about Microsoft Word. I was recently in a meeting where we were helping somebody to update a document. They were struggling to keep track of the difference between what they originally wrote and the suggestions. I have a solution for this. I would like to draw your attention to the ribbon at the top left side of the page. We will select the Review tab. In the Tracking section, you have an option called Track Changes. If you click the drop-down at the bottom of the Track Changes box, you will see two options, Track Changes for Everyone or Just Mine. For Everyone is great when you plan on sharing the document and getting feedback from multiple people. I personally use this all of the time so that if I decide I want to share a document with somebody later, I don't have to go and change the settings. You will know that track changes are turned on because at the top right side of the screen, there is a button that says reviewing. Now I can start making changes to the document. Let's say that write isn't the correct word. I want to use create. Notice that when I deleted the word write, it changed it to red and put a strike through it and then put the word create next to it in red. So this stands out as being a change in the document. In this example, the file is shared and a coworker has logged in to make changes. I know that they're logged into the document because there's a small blue cursor with initials on it letting me know where Nestor is on the page. Now he's going to delete item nine because it's the same as item five. He is also going to change the word training to course. Notice that his changes are in blue compared to mine that are in red. This is your visual indication that the changes come from multiple sources. If you click on the change, a little box will drop down so you can see who made the change and when. You can accept or reject the change using the check mark or the X. You don't have to click on each change individually. If we go back to the review tab in the ribbon above, in the changes section, you will see accept or reject buttons. And you can click on these to work your way through all of the changes. If you click accept, it will remove what you originally wrote and only keep the new change. If you click reject, it will retain what you originally wrote and discard the change. Word will automatically jump to the next change in the document for you to accept or reject. And when there are none left, you will see a pop-up that says there are no more changes in your document. If you found this quick tip useful, you can learn other Microsoft tips by clicking on the video that YouTube is recommending for you.